Hey guys, it's Jen LaForge. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here today. So today I am doing a Target dollar section, mostly haul. Um, it's kind of a funny story. I went to my local Target because I was originally planning on this being kind of a ranting video because my local Target, um, every time I went, I felt like it was completely picked over. I would watch like Do It On A Dime and all of these great vloggers and they would be talking about all the great stuff they got at their Target dollar spot. I'd go to my Target dollar spot and I would find like a couple of horrible gift bags and like glitter on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and I was very discouraged. So I went to my Target Determined. I was like, I'm gonna film for people what it really looks like when you go to the Target dollar spot after it's been completely picked over. Except for, they had just gotten a truck. So, <laughs> tip number one for this haul is find out if your experience with the Target dollar spot has been like mine, find out when your store does their truck and then get there on the day that they bring their truck in because it was filled with stuff when I went and I am so excited about everything that I got. So I'm gonna get right into it so I can show it to you guys. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it all yet. I'll be doing a home decor vlog once we get a little bit closer, probably the week after Thanksgiving, and then I'll show you how I used all this. So my rule of thumb, especially with the dollar spot, is just kind of buy it and think about what you're gonna do about it later. Um, because you do, you could return it if you don't want it, and I promise you, if you see it and you do not get it, it will be gone, so make sure you pick it up. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a couple of the items that I picked up that were not from the dollar section. They were actually from the holiday section of my Target, and the first one is this absolutely adorable $10 little um, station wagon. He's got the little lights on the side, he's got a tree on the top, he's got a little wreath in the front, and um, I bought him and I bought one more, hang on. I bought this little guy who is a pickup truck with the same kind of thing. He's got the little Christmas tree in the back, little wreath in the front. These were $10, so a little bit more than what I normally pay, although I will say that I used my Target red card, so I did get 5% off, but those were $10 a piece. Another thing I picked up that was not in the dollar section are these really adorable little galvanized steel. Uh, they have a tea light already built into them. I haven't und undid the... Uh, well, you know what? I probably, <gasps> okay, <gasps> look at that. Oh, so cute. I don't know if that's showing up on film, but these little galvanized steel houses, and I, they have the candles already in them, and I bought three of these. I bought this one, I bought this guy here, and then I got this guy here. He's the really big one. So these, I think, are going to go on my mantle and they were $10 a piece. So again, they were a little bit more. They were not in the dollar section. Look how cute he is lit up. Absolutely love it. So I'm going to probably do those three on my mantle. I think they'll be really cute together in the different sizes. In that same line also, and I'm not sure if I know how much these ones were, $3, these little galvanized steel tea light holders. And the same thing, they have the built-in guy in there and it will take that little D-cell battery. I always stock up on a few of those because a lot of your battery operated candles take those little kind of watch batteries. So it's never a bad idea to have those on hand. Oh, the rain is really coming down outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Oh, it's so cozy, I love it. So I think these will work really well together on my mantle. So now moving on to the things that I did buy in the dollar section kind of in the same vein, except for these have room for you to put your own little tea light. Again, I'm probably not gonna use an actual candle. I'll use my little battery operated votives. And $3, and these came in several different sizes. I got this size here, and then I got two of these guys, which I just thought these were so precious, and you put your little tea light right in there. Oh, I didn't show you one more of the galvanized steel ones that I got. Was this one $10? Oh, this one was only $3. And this one did not come with a candle, but he kind of goes with the other ones, same galvanized steel, and he has a little white sparkly roof, so I thought that was really cute as well. These I picked up in the dollar section, and I'm completely in love with. They were $5, and oh, that's terrible. You can see my messy. <laughs> 
couple of behind the scenes for you in the mirror. Um, these are mirrored trays. They were $5. I thought these were such a good deal. Really good, nice, solid wood trays. I bought two of these. Now, um, in the Target ad, they have them kind of displayed. So I will probably use this on my entry hall table, but make sure you subscribe so that you can see what I do with these little trays, but I loved those. I also picked up these little guys, and I'm pretty sure they, yeah, these were $3 as well. Just nice little basic little wood boxes. So they kind of go with the other theme of everything else I'm doing, and I picked up three of these. Now these, I will give total credit to do it on a dime because I would, I'm just, I don't think of things like this. These were, were you guys $3 or $5? Hold please. These were three, and I bought three of these little metal houses. And then these little guys, these little fake succulents were also $3. So look how cute that is. If you take that little fake succulent and put that inside that little metal house, I will probably put this on our um, media center in our family room and these will stay out all year. I bought um, some little red um, ivy picks that I, or red berry picks that I may stake in there to make them a little more holiday. But I just thought those were so stinking cute and $6 for the whole thing. So I bought three of those. Absolutely love them. I thought that was an amazing deal. Okay, these next couple items um, are chalkboard related. These, oh my gosh, I love these, $5 for these little chalkboard sleds. Now it does say works better with chalk. So what they're telling you is don't use the um, chalkboard pens because you probably won't be able to erase it. Don't forget to season anything that takes chalk, meaning you're gonna take your piece of chalk and if you watched my fall decor video, I talked about that. You're gonna run it all the way through. You're just gonna color the whole thing with chalk, then wipe it off, and then you'll have a nice uh, surface to use your regular chalk on. So I did pick up the chalk as well. That was in the craft section, obviously. So I bought four of these. I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet. I may either, originally I was gonna use three and spell joy, so put J-O-Y. Um, I ended up picking up a fourth one, um, so I'm not, I might spell love. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but something with chalkboards and letters. Again, make sure you subscribe so you can see what I decide to do with it, but I thought these were so stinking cute. So I picked up four of those. I also picked up these little just plain chalkboard squares, and they're so simple, and these were $3, and it's just framed, and again with the chalkboard. These, it did um, feel more like you could probably use the chalkboard pen on them, or if you wanted it to be permanent, like if you wanted to do joy with these, do J-O-Y, like maybe on your mantle, or like I have three kids, so I may write their names. I probably would go this way. I may write their names and lean these up against where their stockings go on the fireplace. Haven't, again, haven't decided yet. The next couple things I picked up were just these super cute signs. They had barely any of these left. This one says, good tidings of comfort and joy. Super cute, and that was $3. And this one says, Cozy fires, cold nights, sweater weather, twinkling lights, hot cocoa, warm wishes, rosy cheeks, mistletoe kisses. And he was $3 as well. Look how cute that is. So these I'm, are kind of screaming to go in my kitchen. Um, I'm not sure where in my kitchen or what. Again, no idea what I'm going to do with these yet. Um, but that is everything. Oh, wait, there's one more. And this, this I think is my favorite. I would have liked, they had a couple other sayings that I saw online, but this was all my store had. They had this little sign that just simply says, believe. Isn't that so cute? And it's like sparkly on the edges. And it's, it's really cute. It's a little wood sign. And that was only $3. So I picked up a lot of super fun and cute stuff. I cannot wait to put all of this up. I may listen to Christmas carols and I may record Christmas videos before Thanksgiving, but I won't actually decorate my house until I'll kind of start on Thanksgiving day. So I'm kind of just in the gathering stage right now, but I think I got a lot of really cute things that I'll use not only this year, but I'll be able to pack away and use in the years to come. So I'm super excited about decorating for this Christmas. Remember my tip, if your target's always picked over, call ahead and find out when they get their truck because you wanna be there when all of this cute stuff is there. Oh, and one last thing. 
All the dollar spot things were at the front of the store. The things like these little galvanized light up houses and the trucks were actually back with the Christmas department. So make sure you check both areas because they did have some very good deals over in the regular Christmas department as well. Okay, that's all we have time for today. Are you gonna go to Target? If you go, check back with me and tell me what you got. I hope you guys have a great holiday season. I hope your preparations are going well and you're excited about spending great time with family and friends. Have a great day. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.